three of you to praise God here. Hallelujah. And so they had to set aside some time, a day of rest, a day when no work would be done, praise God, and they had to meditate upon God. Now that was the time, praise God, where the children of Israel would have to set aside that Sabbath, praise God. Now we know that as Christians, praise God, we have a perfect Sabbath, amen, because we are not in Israel, and they were all the Sabbath, the, the, the Sabbath, the Jewish Sabbath, praise God, because it was ordained for them and their generation. But there is a Sabbath that has been given to the church. It is that rest. Come on, somebody. It is that perfect rest. That rest in Jesus Christ. That rest that you can be assured of. Glory be to God. That you know that you can rest in the promises of God. Do I have anybody here that want to give God thanks to me? Amen. Praise the Lord. There is a rest. Glory be to God. And so in order still for us to, to, to really recognize and reverence this rest, this peace that we have in God, we got to still remember that we have to set aside a time for him. We got to set aside the reason why so many people don't have a rest today, praise God, is because they are too busy worrying about everything else, oh my God, they are too busy trying to fix everything else, praise God, hallelujah, and so they have not been able to experience this perfect rest, we know there is an eternal rest, my God, we know that there is coming a time when we will have that eternal rest, the Until that day comes, glory be to God. And as we talk about the hour of awakening, I believe that the time has come where we got to draw close to God. Draw close to Him like never before. Draw close to God with your all. Come on, somebody. Give God your very best. Live your life only for Him. Praise God. Empty yourself and meditate on him. Oh my God, I feel like I want to preach in here. Meditate on him. Meditate on him. You're going out and you're coming in. Can somebody raise your hands in the air and praise him? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The trumpets were sounded. Praise God. Hallelujah. As a memorial before God. Hallelujah. From the sunshine to the sun to the sun Set, praise God, hallelujah, from sunrise to sunset, they were sounded before the burnt sacrifice as offered unto God. Now I'm telling you, we don't have to wait on a particular day. We don't have to wait on a particular month. Praise God, when you understand our glory to God, when you understand, praise God, what Jesus has did for you, you will learn to praise God without anyone coming to tell you to praise him. You will have a praise on your lip. Praise the Lord. A lot of folks can't praise God unless they are stirred or unless someone forces them. But when you understand how good God is to you, praise God. You just want to praise him. You just want to live for him. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, church, that we are in an hour. Praise God. We are in a season now where we better praise God. Praise the Lord. We are in a time now that this is not the time to miss church. This is not the time to fall out. This is not the time to be stush and to be quiet and be all cute. This is the time for war. This is the time to rage war. This is the time to stand up. We are living in a time now. Praise God that as you look around, you can see the signs of the times. They are everywhere. Praise God. We can see prophetic words coming to pass right in front of you. When you see things happening, when you see, praise God, that the world is being shaken, the economy is being shaken, when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, with the hair of earthquakes and tsunamis. 
they had to sound the alarm. I believe that God, in this last hour, the hour of awakening, is calling the church to sound the alarm, to rise up and sound the alarm. Blow the trumpet in Zion. We might not have a physical trumpet, but we can open our mouths and we can lift up our hands. Church must rise up and make it known that we shall not 
Yeah.